new here, my name is Jacob. I was a founding engineer at a London tax firm. We built a 19 million pound software there. I have over half a decade of experience leading product engineering and design at startups. I'm now working on a new startup called Trust Estate. I'll share more about this later in the video. Let's get into my day. I actually cannot believe it is the 1st of August 2025 already. It's basically been a year since I joined Trust Estate and I feel like I've got so much to tell you. I suppose let's just get into it. The, the time is around eight o'clock. Gonna be heading into the office now today. Today is a Friday. In my opinion, Fridays are the best days to go in because all of London is so quiet and the office is quiet as well, so you can get lots of work done. So that's really good. So yeah, let's, let's head in. Not automated yet, so we have to go through each lead and like do. Super productive morning so far. We have done some Google ad stuff. That was kind of more than expecting to do it. Some data cleaning up stuff. Bit ad hoc this morning, small quick tasks, but getting them done. Got to build some bigger stuff this afternoon and call some customers. So yeah, very busy day, but all is good. Also need to go get some lunch now as well. So we can do that. I think it's time to update you with how I'm getting on with Trust Estate. Let's do it, come on. Also, this is the office. Um, I'm pretty much the only one left in here now, but as you can see, it's nice and big. We've got space down here. There's also more space down there. Nice kitchen area and everything else going on, so it's a really cool area. Let's just go in here and I'll talk to you quickly about progress with Trust Estate and everything else. Let me just sit you down. So Trust Estate, what's been going on? I suppose to start, I've been the tech lead, basically the main tech. Yeah, sorry everyone, audio sucks here, don't know why, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna say what I say in this clip. Yeah, that's all right, let's do it, come on. Okay, so with Trust Estate, what's been going on? I am the founding engineer here at Trust Estate, been here, as I said, nearly about a year or so. Now, I did share a little bit about kind of what the company does in my last video, but again, I'll do a very quick TLDR. So essentially we provide legal support for people trying to acquire the letter of probate or letter of administration. Yeah, so what is a letter of probate? It's essentially what you need to go to get access to a deceased person's assets. And basically the courts make sure that only the right people get it. So it's quite a thorough process. It can be quite expensive, especially if you use a solicitor that charges a percentage of the estate. And obviously people do do it themselves and can do it themselves, but there are some circumstances where it's a lot easier to get a professional to do it. So we are essentially a law firm that provide this service, but obviously tech enabled, heavily tech enabled. With that though comes a lot of work because obviously being a law firm becomes regulation and it's a really interesting situation where we don't wanna to grow too quickly and take on too many cases just because we don't wanna mess anything up. We're taking things slow. We've done everything right so far and we're doing really well, but it's not one of those things where you wanna do hyper growth immediately. It's like, okay, let's kind of get a good foundations, which we have, and then grow upon those. So yeah, it's a really exciting project to be involved in and I'm really enjoying it. I think especially the legal world in general has a lot of room for growth and innovation. You can do a lot of simple things right and help a lot of people. And um, yeah, so that's what we're trying to do. So if you're a current subscriber or you've just had somehow been exposed to some of my videos in the past about Interlu, what's the state of it? Very simple, I haven't had time. I've been really busy with Trust Estate 
and I just haven't been able to find the time for it. So nothing's really been happening. It is something I will probably do in the future, but I think just getting through this first year and obviously we're doing really well and we're still alive as a startup, which is amazing and close to profitability as well. So I think acquiring those things now make me feel like I can start to document the process a bit more because it, it was really hard work this last year. And secondly, yeah, I think we just got such a great talented team and I don't want to do them a disservice, not kind of not going all in with them. So yeah, it's been a, a real journey the last year. Look forward to sharing kind of the lessons I've learned in that last year and obviously documenting more now as we grow. So yeah, lots to talk about and lots to share, but obviously not all for this video. It's quite funny actually, the like kind of last bit I talk about in this clip is looking back at my younger self, uh, teaching myself to code and thinking about kind of what I wanted to do with my career in life and now to be involved in a company like this and building a company like this I just think yeah somehow it's all figured out um, I probably need to share the full story with you all at some point but yeah for now I'll save that for a another day but it just feels really great you know thinking about as I said learning to code you know making YouTube videos for the first time a long time ago I feel really excited especially in the world of AI now as well and how quickly we can build and it's right it's just such an exciting time one to be alive and two to to be working in the tech space i know there's lots of like doom and gloom out there about kind of ai taking our jobs and everything else in between but i think if you have the right mindset and are open and keen to learning then it's a really exciting time anyway back to whatever i was saying then and there i will probably share more as i make more videos but yeah there you go and just in terms of this is this whole like building complex is 180 studios like downstairs is a really smart area i can't show you today but i will yeah it's just like a really cool area <laughs> ow <laughs> just hit my hand on something yeah so it's a really cool area and uh, i look forward to documenting even more of london and everything else in between all right Oh, let's go. Okay, I'll show you a little bit of what it's like outside. I think this is possibly the nicer side of the two areas of the office, but it's really cool out here. Yes. So you can see, we've got a street down here. We've got the courts just down there. And then we've got the Thames down there. So, yeah, so I think this is probably my favorite part of the office, having having this space here, I think it's really cool. Also lots of greenery. Greenery's good. So yeah, heading home now, it's about 10 to seven. Good day, get back, add some food, and then I might do some more work when I get back, or might do some exercise, who knows. All right, let's do this. Great book, by the way. 